Hi guys, this is uh, Tobias DL3MHT, this time with a non-ham radio related video. A few months ago I got myself a small Geiger counter, GMC 320 Plus from GQ Electronics and uh, yeah it was sitting more or less idle on my desk for months and not showing much about 0 0.17 micro sievert per hour and then last weekend it uh, went completely haywire I'll show you the curves that I've locked with Geiger lock and it really looked crazy and uh, I must admit scared a bit the shit out of me what's going on but uh, I checked all you know public measurement stations and everything was normal so apparently I don't know what happened there maybe electromagnetic uh, interference but uh, the Geiger counter basically measured crap and um, yeah that got me thinking and another thing which I recently found out is that this tube uh, that is used here in this Geiger counter is incredibly light sensitive so I took the back cover off I can uh, flip it over so you see here it's a Chinese M4011 tube and let me just show you what happens when you just take a torch and you know, uh, shine some light onto the cathode. So here's my torch and coming in. Yeah, so I think you can hear it. I'm pretty sure my torch is not radioactive but and pointing it away and it immediately calms down again so let's try that again watching the display maybe like this Yeah, so basically you see, uh, you take this thing outside into the sunlight and it uh, starts to go completely crazy. I don't think that was the bug that I saw uh, last week Saturday, because last week Saturday it was, you know, more or less indoors, not, not a lot of light. Take it away and... Uh, it will uh, drop down now again. Yeah, so what do we learn? Uh, the tube that I got here is not a very good one. Maybe some contamination on the uh, anode side. I don't know how they manufacture these things. Maybe some uh, zoom in here. Maybe some contamination while it was manufactured. Let me try to shine the light a bit. And catch. Yeah, so the summary is um, I will replace the tube with a SBM20 and hope that the measurements will improve. Okay, as a quick test, I can also show you what happens when you put this thing close to a thorium gas mantle. Obviously, it detects some real radiation then, but the sensitivity to light is much higher than <laughs> the sensitivity to radioactivity. So as uh, 
it stands today, this thing is a bit uh, useless. So you see the counter has calmed down from our light attack. And here I have a old camping gas lantern, which has a thorium gas mantle. I'm not even sure if that is a thorium gas mantle or the radioactivity that we pick up is just remains of previous, you know, residue from use years ago. Anyway, I just uh, put it here on top and you see that uh, you get a slight rise in uh, detected radiation. I think we are anyway only picking up secondary beta and gamma here. I think the thorium uh, is an alpha emitter or maybe the ra radon that uh, is created from the thorium. I'm really not an expert here, but uh, that was basically my simple dumb way to, to see does it really count radioactivity and the answer is yes. Uh, you can see it rising here, but in comparison to shining a light on the back side of the tube, it's uh, minuscule. Um, and I think if you really want to know what's going on, you want to get a scintillator and not a simple Geiger counter. So that one tells you basically, yep, yeah, something is uh, detected with my tube, the count per minute rises. What it is, you don't really know. So the shown micro sievert per hour are 90% of the case is completely arbitrary. It only means something if you know exactly that it's this kind of uh, radiation and it was calibrated. So, I mean, it's basically a, <laughs> a way to say, yeah, something's going on. And um, in order to know what's going on, uh, I guess you should get a scintillator, which tells you, yeah, this is radiation from this kind of uh, radioactive elements. Okay, so uh, try to keep the video short. I'm already rambling again without having really a clue. Um, so the plan is um, to replace the tube and uh, hope that uh, the light sensitivity disappears and hopefully also the electromagnetic interference uh, sensibility disappears. I've also checked the anode voltage, got a measuring resistor and it's about three, 396 volts or so, which should be fine for these kind of tubes. So it's not, the problem is not caused by wrong voltage on the tube. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching and uh, until next time. Bye. Thank you.